All right, mate, I'm ill. I'm really into hiking up hills and I spend most of my time barefoot, even at home. So I thought this challenge would be a fun way to see how far my feet would actually carry me. We originally planned to take the pig track to the top, but instead we took Kribgok, which is the knife edge ridge line that leads most of the way to the summit of Snowdon. So stick around to see how far I made it. And at the very end of the video, there's the location of a cool little hidden gem for you. So after a quick cab from Hlamberis, my shoes came off, my socks came off, and sun cream went on. We took a quick video of my feet for reference later, and onto the trail we went. Well, I'm pretty sure it doesn't get worse than gravel anyway. Flat stones on the other hand, super comfortable. I could do this all day. Nice. Uh, Let's do it. Yeah, my buddy Kyle's whipped his shoes off as nerve. In solidarity, wicked, see how far he makes it. I'm gonna show you guys how difficult this actually is. Hopefully most of the way to Kribgok, and then we're gonna spit off, and we'll be going the pig track instead. Or at least I thought we were still going the pig track. Any opportunity, yeah, any opportunity to like, de-swell, oh, that's good then. Yes, have it, yeah. They're so nice and cold. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Number one incredible. reason not to wear shoes. Uh, the super glue has taken a long time to dry, so now he's wearing my shoes. So at this point, I still believed that I was going to be walking the pig track and split off from my friends while they do Kribgok, which is a lot more rocky like this the entire way. I mean, pig track is Ooh. its just a path. There are rocky sections, but it's a path, whereas Kribgok is a proper scramble. That's just so if you don't know the mountain so well and don't know the significance of switching from the pig to Kribgok, then that's why. We're gonna go up this way. Yes, we're about to get serious. Or you go straight, you see this. Okay, I've done a dynamic risk assessment at the point that I was gonna leave our friends and split off to do the pig track. And I think I'm gonna give Kribgok a go, so. I've done the I've done the pig before, so I know I can do it. So is it really that much of a challenge? No. So, I was going to come along this way and then go up the hill there, but instead, we go up onto the top of the ridge, Crib Gok, and that will follow along with gorgeous views the entire way. We're so blessed with this weather. What a relief. Obviously, they go hand in hand. Oh, give me a barefoot spud. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> hey, wait. No. Yeah, Kyle's on it as well. That's what we like. Oh, sorry. Alright, wow, with our shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Kribgok actually translates to mean Red Ridge in Welsh. It stands at 923 metres above sea level, or well, that's 3,028 feet. And the track passes over three tall pinnacles, and it's a grade one scramble, so hands are required, but ropes are not. It's kind of this, this terrain that you see most of the way along until you get to a few bigger boulders. Now, although this is my favorite route to ascend Snowdon, there is a really big section of clear shift drops and people have died here. In fact, I once witnessed uh, a body being collected by Mountain Rescue after a man had fallen off, off the route and died. And that's while I was still a nurse. It's not to be taken lightly. But that being said, it's like an adult playground. It's, it's an awful lot of fun being up there. Yeah, what do you think? Good fun, isn't it? I love this. This is unreal. Glad, mate. Never I knew you would. I haven't even done any scrambling like this ever, and just be doing it barefoot. Don't you feel like a small boy? Like, mm. yeah, mate, like a kid. Yeah. All those feelings. <sighs> just play it now, it's the playground. Nice, we're nearly actually onto the ridge. Seriously. Top yeah. now, yeah. How, how are the soles doing? How's the skin feeling? What, off my feet? Yeah. Alright, right, yeah, nice one. No, no sort of just a bit sc scuffed up, like. <laughs> Roughed up. <laughs> yeah, man, it's when it like jabs you in that tendon in the bottom of your foot. Yeah. Like in a UFC fight with the mountain. Yeah, that's true. The reason I was so hesitant to do this route barefoot at first was because I felt like it was some kind of safety issue. Like it felt really unnatural to leave shoes at the nice. bottom of the hill and then go and do like a technical walk. I mean, shoes would be considered an essential piece of kit by most people. Yeah. That being said. The feedback that you get from the soles of your feet is far more than you'd get through any shoe. So if you know that your feet are strong, 
the confidence that you have in them is second to none. That view is beautiful. My feet are slightly red looking, especially on the toes, but otherwise, feeling pretty good. Yeah, just a bit scuffed up. Otherwise, feeling strong. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Nice. It's only a shame that the camera angle isn't wider to really show off how steep these edges are. Okay, now that I'm long off the gravel and I'm on like solid rock, it feels great again. It was kind of a world of pain earlier, but now just best ever and nope. There she is, <laughs> summit in sight. Up to the pinnacle. Go on, Carl, show us how it's done. It's super scenic, but this is hell to walk on. Literal hell. What you're watching now is the midst of the really scrambly section. It was quite technical. And I just want to say how proud I was of my friends because none of them got a crag first. Two of them had never even been on a mountain before. I just think they all did an incredible job. Oi. Mm. Yeah. I'm just crab walking down because descending like this was super painful on the feet. Oh, it's a bit windier now. It's actually quite nice to get some of the sweat off of me. I just had I just had my first aggressive stubbed toe on ow, on that corner piece. Yummy. Nice. You have to do much, much worse than that to get me to put my shoes on right now. Yeah, feeling so good. A nice like thin little grass saviour. Ouch. This route is such a weird one to do barefoot because it, it goes from nice gentle path to, you know, rocky intense scramble to kind of gentle path again, although kind of gravelly, to these big boulders, back to scrambling and then you're, you're settled again. So your feet, they get mixed up quite a lot during the day. I must say my soles were feeling a little bit roughed up and stiff, but a lot of it wasn't so bad. It was only really after I stubbed my toe that I started feeling real pain in my feet though. I haven't filmed much for the last, I don't know, half an hour or so, just because, I don't know, my feet hurt. I'm quite tired and, yeah, we're at uh, pain now, which is, which is nice. That is a hell of a spot to world camp. What a view. What an absolute vista. So we got to the summit of, oh, I want to pronounce it, but the Welsh are going to hate me. Uh, Ganed again, Ganed again. Um, I made a group decision that because it's late, we started late. My feet are tired. Carl's feet are tired. Everyone's tired. So instead of heading up to the Snowdon summit, we are just going to take the miners track down. I made it to a summit. I did crib gok in my bare ass feet. Kyle did it all the way to the top. So in my eyes, we both succeeded, even though we didn't get up Snowdon. I feel like this is a harder equivalent. Um, and we both agreed that it wasn't our feet themselves that was hurting, but only really the, the skin on the bottom was feeling quite roughed up. But overall, a blinding success. Why are you doing this? Uh, I make YouTube videos. No, like, why are you? Why'd you do it barefoot? Uh, um, well, I did it once in, like, 20... 17 or something, I can't remember the year. Um, 
like just as a challenge I did it for charity and then charity. yeah and I did it in November and it was like painful and horrible and I thought it would be nice to come back and do it again mm. like in summer with a bit more Always practice proper, yeah. being barefoot and then yeah do it that way it's a challenge isn't it oh yes and then I was going to do pig again, but it didn't feel like so much of a challenge when everyone... Yeah. Oh, when Kyle was walking towards Crib without his shoes on, I just couldn't... <laughs> I couldn't watch him go and steal my thunder, obviously. I need this. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, heading off the summit. Uh, I mean, we didn't do what we had kind of originally planned or thought we were going to do. We're one man too short, but I did Crib Gok barefoot, so i got to say I feel... I don't know, very proud of myself, that's kind of cool. And now I have this like downhill pressure oh, yeah. on my feet. <laughs> but look, at least, oh man, I can walk over all these sharp rocks. I don't even have to look. Yeah. <laughs> so good. I love that you can see the ocean in almost every direction from Snowden, that's beautiful. And here we are, back in shoes. On nice flat rocks. A hell of a descent to go. We're going to be racing the, uh, the sunset by the looks of things, actually. Oh, we didn't beat the sun to the lake, that's a shame. The boys here are checking out this ravine. So the boys thought they were being clever, but we found the back way, which is flat and easy. <laughs> Such a cool ravine.